good morning welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do my september home this is sort of end of august and into september the box is full so i thought i would quickly go through them with you i want to recycle them it's our uh, bin day on monday so i wanted to get them out and about out of the house so it's a grotty day i've got the lights on because you really wouldn't be able to see me otherwise so yeah i've got a chunky cardigan on because i felt the need for it today so i'll go through these for you and um, there's a bit of a mixture we've got some body products quite a few makeup products that i've used up hair products yeah all that good stuff so i'm starting off with this one which is just an empty box of my contact lenses i use the accuview moist daily multifocal so i can read and see distance with these and i only wear one I won't go into details as to why you only wear one. It's a long story, but yeah, I just wear one. So for 30 days, I get 30 wears. Um, I know some people use them a couple of times. They sort of keep them in solution and use them, but I find that I'm worried about infection and I really don't want to encourage that. So I just do the one. Um, second is the natural and nourishing. So as you know, I darkened my hair for the autumn winter period and this is the one that i used i get this from amazon i'll link it for you it's the schwarzkopf natural and nourishing natural looking multi-tonal color and this one is in medium ash blonde five feet three three i have to say this makes your hair feel amazing the condition of my hair is so much better since i did this so if you're looking for something that's kind of a ashy blonde just to get rid of any yellows or you want to darken your hair slightly i can highly recommend that one so that's that one uh this is just a uh scent scenty fuchsia bloom um i use these all over the house the reason i like these is because they've got a trigger that you can pull rather than trying to press one of those little things at the top much better with my uh, arthritic hands so i use these and i think they're really good price as well so yeah get these from aldi um i'm using a pink one at the moment in in the other room and i'm enjoying it so yeah they can i can recommend those they're good this is the dove nourishing silk um let me put my glasses on i've noticed lately if i put my glasses on over my contact lens it just gives me a little bit of magnif magnification to see uh, yeah, this is the Nourishes Dry Skin and this one is the Body Wash, Nourishing Silk. Yeah, this smells lovely and worked to treat, um, but I only had a little one. The only problem I've got with it, as I often have with things, is because you've got to squeeze it out, I really struggle with the squeezing, especially when you're getting towards the end. And I ended up, end up leaving some product in there because I just can't squeeze it any harder. So I'm gonna, I, I would definitely re-buy this Dove it smells lovely and it feels very luxurious and creamy. So definitely would buy it again, but I want to see if they do a pump bottle that I can sort of sit on the bathroom. Um, I've got a little ledge in my shower that so can sit on there and I can use it as a pump. I think that would work better for me. Um, I finished this Revlon Unique one. Um, All-in-one hair treatment. So this is for um, all sorts of things, but I also use it as a um, heat protectant. Yeah, there were rave reviews about this on lots of different websites and people saying it's a holy grail product. But I can't say I saw any real difference in my hair when I used this. Um, it smelled nice. It was fine. There wasn't any negative effects, but I wouldn't say I would buy it again because there wasn't anything super exciting about it. So yeah, that's that one. I think it was about £11 as well. Um, this is the Lacura Stress Therapy Bath Soak in Rosemary and Eucalyptus. I think these are really good value, actually. Um, the one I've got at the moment is the Lacura one, and I think it's the Muscle Soak. But yeah, um, I do like the Dove Bath Soaks, but um, I happen to be an Aldi, so I picked this up, and I, I've got another one on the go. Um, it's a nice big bottle. What do you get? 750 ml. So yeah, I don't... I don't find them there's anything wrong with those they're quite nice smell okay um this is the cherry blossom cherry blossom mineral bubble bath from the dead sea collection this was from home bargains yeah it smelled nice in the um container but i couldn't smell it in the bathroom when i used it but it did last last a good long time so yeah i probably would buy that again if i was stuck 
This is my um, Healthy Glow Retinol Toner. Um, I find this just as good as the higher end brands. I really do enjoy this. Um, I'm just trying to think what the higher end brand is that it dupes. I'll pop it on the screen. But um, yeah, this is the Healthy Glow Retinal Toner. I use this in the morning. I just put it on a cotton pad, wipe over my face. It kind of wakes my face up. I, I literally splash my face with water in the morning. I don't use a, a wash on my face. And then this over the top and it sort of makes me feel as if I'm awake. So yeah, I really like that. I've got another one on the go at the moment and I will keep buying the backups of that. Uh, let me see. This is my beloved body shop chamomile sumptuous makeup cleansing butter. I've got another one on the go at the moment. Um, yeah, it smells lovely and clean and fresh. As you can see, I've got every bit out of there. Um, and I will, I'm just about to order two more from the body shop. I really like these, couldn't be without them. I've tried lots of different cleansers. I like um, a two phase cleanse. So I use um, a micellar water, a, two, a by phase micellar water, which I think I've shown you before. There might even be an empty one in here, actually. Um, I'm not sure. Um, and then I use this and wipe it off with a, a makeup towel. You know, the ones you can get from home bargains, the long ones. Um, and my face feels lovely and clean and fresh when I've used this. And so soft. It doesn't feel like I desperately need moisturiser, although I do use um, my evening products, but feels great. If I ever forget, my skin feels fine with this. It sort of really moisturises it. So yeah, I can highly recommend that one. If you've not tried it, you'll never go back. Try it. It's really good. I think it's about £11, £12 a tub and it probably lasts maybe about six weeks, something like that. But in my eyes, definitely worth it. I would never be without that one. This is a NYX um, Radiant Finish Setting Spray. There's lots in here. I'm getting rid of this because... The spray is dreadful. It's really wet. It takes ages to dry. I feel like I'm being squirted in the eye when I, when I use it. So, yeah, not for me. Don't know whether it's just... The product might be fine, but I've not found out because I've not been able to use it because it's just too wet and too sprayy. Um, another bad product. This is the... Um, Champney's Oriental Opulence Body Glow Scrub. My sister-in-law bought me this a few years ago and it's been in my drawer to use and I've sort of just used it up. It's gorgeous. It smells delicious. It does a really good job of, of scrubbing with a mitt without being too scratchy and it rinses off really nicely and leaves your body feeling really lovely and moisturised. A real good one. Um, they used to sell it in Sainsbury's. I don't think they do anymore. I think you can get it on eBay. Um, where else? I saw it somewhere else as well. Oh, boots. My sister-in-law said that you could get it in boots. So I'm going to get another one of these. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm not a massive body scrub fan. It has to be good. I used the... Um, I think what I used last night. I tend to use a body scrub when I'm when I've just shaved. Um, I sort of scrub, and then before I do a fake tan, I will use a body scrub. Um, I used the oh, just can't think of the name. I'll pop it on the screen for you last night, and it was nowhere near as good as this. It, it was quite scratchy, and it left lots of stuff on my skin. It took me ages to rinse it off, whereas this sort of just seemed to dissolve. So. I definitely will be replacing that one and getting another one. Uh, what else have we got? I'll just put it, this down here. Oh, this is um, the Elemis Cleansing Balm. There's a little bit left in here because it started to smell a bit funny. I've had it for ages. I got this. Um, it might have been in a beauty box. I can't remember. It was it was in something. I didn't actually go out and buy it. Um, as such individually um yeah i don't like it it's very the other one the body shop one i was talking about sort of dissolves on contact with your skin gets really lovely and soft this i feel like you have to work really hard to rub it in whether it was just this one whether the other elemis ones are, are better i don't know but for me 
I really struggled to use it up. I took it away with me a couple of times and both times thought really not keen on this. So anyway, I've used it. I've used the majority of it and it can go now. But yeah, yeah. This is the collagen one, I think. Pro collagen one, yeah. Perhaps there are others that are better, but I just don't think I'd spend the money on them when I know that the body shop one works really well. Excuse me, chucking things on the floor. This is my uh, volume Lash Blast Mascara in brown. Um, one of my favourites. Love the brush on this one. Um, yeah, it's dry and used up, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is a e.l.f. eye primer. Um, this has still got some in. Um, it's just nothing. It just I like e.l.f. and I like the products. I've just had a probably seen a, a video either before or just after this where, I, where I'm using e.l.f. products on my face and I've got lots of e.l.f. products on today but this is just nothing, it just, you know, didn't have any effect, didn't keep my makeup on it, my eye makeup on any longer, didn't really do the job of covering my eyelids which is the main thing so yeah, I'm getting rid of that. It was only cheap but yeah, not very good. I'm also getting rid of this number 17, this is a mascara, it's the... Um, Gosh, let me get my glasses. Hang on a sec. It's a brown mascara and it's another level volume mascara. Um yeah, I can't use this. It 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 looks okay going on, nothing amazing, but it flakes and crumbles throughout the day. And because I wear a contact lens, I find that I'm getting bits in my eye and having to take my contact lens out. It's just a pain. Um so yeah, for that reason, I'm gonna get rid of that. What's a fail? Um, my Empty Bare Min Minerals Complexion Rescue. I love this product in the summer. I use the colour Opal 11. Um, really, really nice. Really just a everyday, no makeup look kind of vibe. Perfect to mix with uh, if you want to put some, some more colour on your face. So perfect to mix with a little bit of um, tinted moisturiser. Um, to give you a really nice glowy summer look. Um, this one's empty. I've got a little bit left in another one that I'm using up and then I will order a new one in the summertime. I uh, tend to not use it in the winter, but come spring, March, April, I'll be getting another one of these because I do enjoy the product. Um, this is my uh, Beauty Pie one. Yeah, that's done. A tiny little bit on the end there but I was getting to the point where I couldn't really use it so that's going to go but I love this this was um I think it was called pink sugar some something like that but I looked on beauty pie because I'm thinking of renewing my membership and everything all of these were out of stock apart from one which was like a goldy color which I didn't want so um I'm on the lookout for a replacement you'll see in the elf video I have got a different one on my eyes today so let me know what you think about that one and I'll tell you my thoughts in the elf video but yeah unfortunately they don't seem to have any stock of these in at the moment and that is a really lovely one a really easy one and done eye makeup this is an old um gosh brown eyeliner um I just had it a really long time and not used it um so I'm going to get rid of this um yeah, don't tend to use it anymore. Tend to use a um, eyeshadow under my eyes. Just find it a little bit softer. Find this one a little bit harsh. But a great pencil if you're looking for a dark brown pencil. Nice and creamy and easy to use. Um, and then last but not least, a couple of um, lip liners. This is the Gone Grage one. Um, and as you can see, there's some in there, but it's snapped off. It's gone very, very dry very, very quickly. Um, it's the the brand is I think it's a Rimmel brand. Uh, no, it's Maybelline New York sen Color Sensational, and it's gone grayish. Is the, is the color and yeah, it's nice. I like the color. I just don't like it as much as the collection lip liners. It's just not as smooth and creamy, and it dries quickly. And as I say, it snaps off. So every time I get it out to use, it irritates me. So that's going. And this one is the Ultra Precision. Let me have a look. Ultra Precision Gel Eye Pencil Waterproof from Catrice. Again, that one's empty, snapped off. There was a little bit left and it snapped off, but I don't like it as much as the collection one. So 
I won't be replacing that. So yeah, that's my empties for today. I'll try and link any products that I found okay below if you want to go ahead and, and have a look at those. Um, and I'll be back with another video soon. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.